Hey YouTube, Will here from All Electric, back again with another video. And in this video, we are going to talk about the center console. So the center console, that piano black that is standard with all Model 3s, looks awesome until you touch it. Then you get fingerprints, you drive the car, you get dust. So in comes a fantastic wrap, the best one I found, from Nicola Pro. So I got that uh, in matte black. So I got the matte black for the center console and the matte back black for the steering wheel. But as you can see here, they have tons and tons of different colors. I just personally like the look of the matte black. So click that link down below, head over to Amazon, and you can check out these wraps. I've gotten a couple wraps and I've tried some and I haven't done any videos on them because the quality of the vinyl was just terrible. Now, Nicola Pro puts out some great products and you can see here the attention to detail, how they have everything pre-cut for you and have the transfer paper lined up exactly for you with these cardstock printed instructions. It's just a phenomenal, like you can tell that this is high quality. This is definitely not the cheapest wrap out there, but this is definitely the best quality wrap that I've ever seen for a Model 3. So once you guys purchase these wraps, head over to Amazon to do that, and then come back here and watch how they are installed. Now these do come with full instructions, but I'm gonna show you here exactly how I installed them. So first I laid out all the pieces, so I made sure what I had, and they give you lens cleaning wipes so you can wipe it down to make sure there's no grease or anything stuck to there. So I'm by no means a professional vinyl installer, so I'm gonna work on the piece that it sees uh, the most light. So that is gonna be this piece um, where the phone dock is, so that piece there. So first I'm gonna take out my provided wipe and make sure this thing is spotless. Okay, got a little bit carried away there. I was just gonna do this one piece, but kept going. So I line up exactly what the directions say. The bigger piece um, goes on there. I take off the adhesive. Now it's important, once you get the adhesive lined up, this is the part where you should spend the most amount of time. So take off that white backing piece. Take your time when you're doing this to make sure that you don't fold over any edge. And then also it's important to take your time when you line up this first piece initially because this, if you get this off center, it's, everything else is gonna be off center. Then I simply, for this small piece, use my thumbs to work my way up, going from the center towards the out to make outside to make sure that there were no air bubbles um, anywhere in the middle. And if there was, then I would just press them out pretty firmly with my thumb. And then make sure all of it's sticking down. So every single edge, is stuck completely down. So then we reinstall that piece, and as you can see, I already love the look of the matte black compared to the piano black. It's really sharp, doesn't show fingerprints, it's, it's nice. So now we're gonna work on this next piece, which if I had to do this again, I would have done the top piece first and then move to this middle section, but we're gonna show you this middle section first. So it provides you with an excellent transfer tape to make sure you line up just perfectly with where you need to be. So a couple other vinyl wraps I used kept you kind of hanging because you know you don't have that transfer tape where you can line it up just perfectly. So initially I removed the entire backing, which you'll see here that I actually put half of back on because to line this up just perfectly uh, was the end of it was sticking. So. When you peel this off, peel off just half of the backing and then line up your edge, your top corner here. Make sure both of them are perfect so that everything is square and the rest of the piece will fit perfectly on that center piece. Once it was completely lined up, I used that provided blue squeegee there, that softer edge. It has like a felt edge and working from the center to, towards the outside, just like that first piece we did. And I also wrapped that top edge first before I started this, and then slowly peeling that white backer out from behind this. So don't worry, we're gonna address this back edge of the centerpiece in just a second, but first make sure that it's all pressed down 
firmly on the front piece. Now to address that back edge, we're gonna press firmly on the front. You can see just like you do to open it, except you're gonna hold it and then use that blue side or the felt side to press that last back edge down of the middle section. So now let's move on to the top section, make sure we have our piece oriented the correct way by just doing like a dry fit. And then we're gonna use one of those other wipes to make sure there's no fingerprints or dust on there. And so as you can see here, I didn't pull off the white back the entire way until I got that front edge completely set and that bottom edge, you can see me peeling it down there. And then I start from the middle, working my way up, ensuring that there's no air bubbles. But so leaving that backer on just makes it easier to get this piece set exactly perfectly because again, if it's off center a little bit, then your entire piece is gonna be slightly off center. So this is a very easy job and Nick LaPro definitely makes this easy compared to some of the other wrap kits that I've seen for the center console. So remove the transfer tape and make sure all your edges are down and voila, there we have two out of three done. So now we're gonna move on to the hardest section, which is the cup holder section, but don't be afraid, they got you covered. Once we have this clean, free of all dust and fingerprints, we're gonna stick an alignment card that's provided by Nicola Pro in between the center cups, and this is all very detailed out in their instructions, but I'm gonna do my best to show you guys here how it's done. This alignment card is stuck in between the piano black piece and another chrome piece, not to get in way of the vinyl that we're gonna install. So that alignment card is gonna help you line this up when you're installing this vinyl wrap piece over top of the cup holders like you see here. So again, I pull off a section of the vinyl just enough to set that front piece and then we're gonna stick it using the alignment card and make sure that it's very square because again, you need to start with a piece very square on there, otherwise your entire piece is gonna be off. So once it's there, it's set, it's perfect, it's where it needs to be, press all the edges down firmly, working from the inside out to avoid bubbles. So it's hard to do that with holding the camera, so make sure you get all the edges. You might have to pop down the middle section to get that front edge and lift up your center armrest to get the other edge. But as you can see here, perfect fit. Link is gonna be down in the description for the center console, but wait, because we also have the steering wheel. So I also got a matte black kit for the steering wheel. Now, there are a ton of other colors over there. I know, yes, I'm being very boring just putting black on there. My wife actually said, I don't see a difference, what's the point? So the point is to show you guys, if you actually get this kit, how this is done. So first, you squeegee, just like you've seen before, I'm gonna lay out all my pieces to ensure I know where it needs to go. I actually got an extra left piece, which is great. And having never done this before, I'm gonna start with the left piece because if I mess it up, I do have another spare. It actually sent me an extra one in the box. I don't think that was designed. I think that was a mistake on Nicholas Pro's part. So very careful to line this up. You use the arrows, just like the instructions say, on the steering wheel to line this piece up. and just working your way from the inside out, pressing firmly down, making sure that it sticks without getting any air bubbles. I didn't find this really hard. I felt like this was actually much easier than the center console, even though looking at it, it seems like it'd be more difficult because it's a curved piece, but it really wasn't. And these went on pretty easy. So we got the two side pieces on with the scroll wheels. Now we're working on that bottom section there, which is very straightforward, very easy to do. You just line up the bottom of it and the rest of it falls in place as long as you get that bottom lined up perfectly. So like I said before, I mean, this is a phenomenal kit. Yeah, it was boring because I didn't pick another color and they have green, blue, pink, red, like they have every color you could think of. So head on over there, click the link down in the description to check that out. If you want to connect with me on social media, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at A11Electric. I hope to see you over there. If you haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps support the channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share this video with a friend. Thank you so much to everybody who's over on Patreon. 
all my patrons who are supporting me. Thank you. I could not do this without you. Specifically, a huge shout out to our man of men and our grandma tool who are supporting me at the all electric level. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. When you see another Tesla on the road and you're engaged in autopilot, the proper way to wave to them is with two hands waving frantically when you see the other Tesla. <laughs> in my last video, I talked about how I installed these Nikola Pro vinyl handle covers and they match the paint. It even has the sparkle, that little flake that the pearl white paint has. These look phenomenal. They have all the colors over there of all the cars. I really like how clean this makes it versus the chrome handle that gets fingerprints all over it. So if you're looking for door handle covers, click the link down in the description to pick up a set of these. These are high quality. These are not some cheapo ones. These are very, very good quality ones. Tons of different colors, textures, and all that. I'll leave a link down below in the description. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate that you watch this video in its entirety. I will catch you guys in the next one.